consisted of a Oasis Snapjaw and oh, River Crocolis. Oh my gosh, you made a honker. Oh, oh my. my god. Rainhead's never made one of these before. <laughs> I don't think there's any way that he can lose if he if he doesn't make Leon. He makes huffers all day, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, well, you know, uh, rolling huffers, that is how you win with Hunter, according to Chalky, the Hunter Master. That is what he taught me, man. Uh, but this is a great counter right here, of course, yep. to uh, go ahead and get your Unbound down and Lightning Bolt the Huffer. Yep. That's a 3-5, and it's going to get healed by this totem anytime it takes some damage and cleans min minions up. Yep. You know, so something imp just as important last turn is he also drew Savannah High Maid, which oh I my. think is really crucial in this matchup. Ooh. Certainly, as long as there's no hex. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> but he has the bow. You know, so, he's actually got a lot of options this yeah. turn. It, he made, he did that pretty fast, but I, I would like to see him think a little longer because he's got I, a lot of plays this turn, and that's all true. of them take very different lines. That's true. I do like the play, though, just at, at especially at first glance because next turn at five man, you can freezing trap bow and yep. just get maximum charges. Yeah. Um, that feral spirit is likely coming out this turn, I have to say. I would agree. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you don't, else to do. you don't have a strong five. And you do have a strong six. Yeah. Yeah. Here, it's, here's and a question the thing for is you. that powers them up to a four six, gives you two taunts. Here's Pretty a question for you. Do you attack this uh, Oasis Snapjaw? I think that you actually can because the thing is, it's only going to deal two damage here. I don't think you need to put the actual damage onto your opponent, and you have the healing totem especially. Yeah. So, I mean, you hit that once, that Oasis Snapjaw can run into a wolf, which, by the way, will get healed, but then you can kill it off even with a wolf because it's taken so much damage. Chick, that's what do you think? I don't know, like, we're really developing this huge board, and we're really just going to spend it trading every time, and then just, like, waiting for him to draw, like, an un unleash combo. It's it's kind of hard to say. Like, mm. I'm really interested to see how Raynad plays it out. I mean, no, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's... Yeah, I'm like, well, I think Raynad is not <laughs> in charge here. I think it's uh, Tice. Oh, I like okay. it. All that's right. He summoned the spirit of Chalky. <laughs> he's going directly for the face. He's playing Sham Hunter. Yeah, that's how I would have played it as well, is just going straight to the chops. Okay. Yep. Cool. Uh, you know, obviously this 2-7 gonna have a hard time getting around anything. Doesn't quite have the combo yet. Yeah. You think uh, Bo Freezing Trap? I think Bo is for sure coming down here. And if Bo comes down, I imagine you play Freezing Trap as yeah. well. And obviously you kill one of these two threes, the other one will get yeah, bounced. And it, ki it kinda sucks playing the Freezing Trap though, because it's not gonna kill the Unbound. That's true. It's just gonna Very put true. a wolf back in his hand. And honestly, ha having a wolf back in your hand when there's the Eagle Horn bow down what? isn't even that bad. What do you think about rolling a Leoc and starting to remove wolves like that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he knows it's going to be Leoc. It's Leoc. Well, he already got a Huffer, and the thing is, if he rolls that and it's a Huffer, that's actually, I don't like that. Yeah, <laughs> if, he, if he rolls a Misha, it's pretty bad, too. Yeah. The Leoc, though, would actually be excellent here. Yep. Uh, uh, oh, maybe Raynad rolling Huffers today is a bad luck. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, geez. This is a tough situation. It really is. Kikats, what do you do here? You're like, well, I, I choose I bow, Hunter. Yeah, like I, mean, I, I both trap. Just, exactly, I would have chosen yeah. Hunter, too. I would never pick Shaman, but in a best of three, at least. Mm. Best of five is different. All right, well, he does take one down, and uh, I guess that does get rid of this little two, three off the board for now. But at four mana, it definitely oh. could come down. Oh, again. my gosh. What a good draw. This could be really bad mm. for Raynad. That's pretty tough. Yeah. It's pretty tough. That's but if he gets a, a buzzard, he has, like, a lot of cards. Oh, it's going to be a 5 seven <laughs> unbound elemental. Oh, my gosh. No, 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 no. Whoa. You attack first. You definitely attack first. Let's yeah. not get crazy. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right. Tice uh, trying to figure out what to attack here. He thinks Just it's a freezing trap. trap. Yeah, imagine it was a snake trap. It's like, <laughs> what is Raynette doing? I think he kind of wanted it to be Snake Trap. <laughs> so he could Lightning Storm. I really ah. think that, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh my gosh. Two Feral, feral Spirits, one of those cards that Shaman needs to draw out to help this matchup. And more importantly, he's had Unbound Elemental to go with it. Yeah. This guy yeah. is a monster right now. And to Lightning Bolt the Huffer, you had like everything you needed. Can Tice he, is in a ridiculous Wait a minute, spot. can he clear because that Hunter's Mark now? So he unleashes, he gets four tokens. The bow takes out a token. Oasis Snapjaw yeah. and a token. Takes out a wolf token. Yeah. You should. It's, uh, and of course, he can still do that even after that roll. Uh, he was probably looking for like a Leoc yeah. or something like that. Yeah, Misha's actually his worst one, I think. Yeah. Can't yeah, attack. Misha's worst is here. But Doesn't unleash pump. the hounds. This is actually, this is really nice for Anna yeah, to be able this to is, clear this is that. A, that, Hunter's Hunter's mark. Mark, that Hunter's Mark is probably the best draw in his mm -hmm. deck. I think he legitimately needed that. Tice has Whoa. to be a bit frustrated. This around the world Hunter's Mark. <laughs> 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 He's smiling while he does it, by the way. 
All right, do you kill the totem, yeah, Kit Kats? for sure. For sure? Yeah. All right, let's do it, guys. Let's kill the totem. Did we just kill it? <laughs> we just kill it. <laughs> and uh, you know what? This opens them up for some strong turns going forward. All right. Um, I think you have to wait a turn on this lightning storm. It really it sucks that he's at four mana, not five. Just I would so really like damage. that Azure. So much damage. Yeah. I think you, got, I think you, I think you play the, the... You know what? I think playing the Spirit Wolf is not terrible here because he probably will hit that. I mean, he could clear it. Anything he clears it with is actually good for him because then the Lightning Storm is killing more. True. Or he gets rid of his bow completely, and both those are actually pretty good. I think that's a little bit better than playing the uh, Yeti. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with that. Well, Yeti, Yeti, I feel like, is cleared by Misha and a token. Yeah. Which, then you don't even have to Lightning Storm. You know, I don't even think he clears yeah, the Yeti. I think he what? just I think he just attacks for Yeah, for well that's that's what I'm afraid about is yeah. if he just goes straight to the face, like the Yeti is not yeah, doing much. Well, that's if you like play, so if you, much damage. If you play the wolf, yeah. he just he just clears it with the snap draw and a token. And then like Lightning Storm still doesn't do anything. Well, Lightning Storm plus Thalnos is like Oh wow. Yeah, it's this, oh. this would be really surprising. This is rowdy. Yeah, I wouldn't think that he would do this right now. Oh, at you know what? Health? You know what he wants to do? He wants to blood mage lightning storm next turn. This doesn't look like he has blood mage lightning storm to me. It looks like this looks like desperation. It looks like desperation. Yeah. And like that leaves him at five mana next turn. Yeah, that oh, I guess he can. Oh wow. my gosh. Wow. That's a killer draw. With the Savannah High main, this is perhaps going to be a good game. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Which one do you do you go right for Savannah High Man? Oh, right I, I windmill slam it. Yeah. <laughs> like if if I was playing actual cards, I would do like the behind the back, <laughs> over the head, onto the table slam. All right. That's a yeah. That seems pretty obvious. And Domino. This is gonna hurt too because that lightning storm isn't gonna do anything against Savannah High Man. Yeah, he needs to draw hex. He has to draw hex. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? Earthshock yeah, wouldn't be too bad. He's overloaded too. Earthshock and then plus a. a Three for sure. Oh wait, no. And the, yeah, no, that would kill. That would be awesome. And Earthshock would be a. An, a oh wait, wait no, minute, he's no. gonna be one man off of that though. Yeah. One man off of killing everything. Because, oh my gosh, the overload. Too, right? Ouch. Overload, oh, man. Geez. This is a problem, guys. Yep. <laughs> Here's the miracle rope. Oh. The miracle rope. Is that a thing? Yeah. That's what miracle rope. That's oh what my god, it's hilarious. Is. The rope is winning almost as many games as the rogue deck. <laughs> All right, so he's actually going to go ahead and power oh, this, this up right yeah, now. Yeah, I actually like this play a lot. This this does give multiple targets you have to hex now. That's, like, hard to get rid of five health. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I still would like to have seen the Savannah High main, but, mm. I, I, you know, I mean, obviously, <laughs> neither of them are a bad play, I don't think. But yeah. I think Savannah High main's better. Oh, um, either way, I don't think he can recover, though. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Oh, good this luck. This last turn was kind of so weak. Yeah. Yeah, the Lightning Storm was really, really weak. If he doesn't draw Hex here, he, I think he just actually loses the game straight away. Pretty sure. You know what? I think I just slam these boars and start doming. Your opponent doesn't have any Lightning Storms left. That's true. Yes. I, would, uh, I would still definitely consider killing the Thalnos. Um, yeah, I'd slam him and start I'm doming. Start as long down. as the one's on the table. Yeah. You've you got, got boar control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Right, we'll see here. Of course he's going to play Savannah Jaime in this game. Uh, I think he's only just considering what to do. Does he play the boars? Does he hero power? Turns out he hero powers. Hero power is a much more efficient use of uh, cards and mana, by the way. I just want to slam the boars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I do have to say that he has to be feeling pretty good with, with how this has gone. Both Feral Spirits and both Lightning Storms game. Can he recover? He doesn't have the mana. Yeah. You know what? Nope. Wait, Do you run into the 4-2 four. Four with your 1-1? One, one? Oh, jeez. He could totem Argus, kill the 4-2, but no, then the totem just dies of the yeah. weapon, and he takes, he dies. Is this just death? I see 9 damage. I'm pretty sure Rena just wins. Yeah. Yeah. No escape in this one. You know well, he, he can do? roll, he you can roll he a taunt do? totem. He can attack the 4-1. Draw, draw a, a one mana removal spell. Remove that, hex the six five, and go from there. Yeah, I think he does have to throw that away. Yep. Um, 
And if it, if it <laughs> doesn't draw... Ken is laughing at how absurd this line has yeah. to be in order to win. <laughs> it's not even to win, though. It's to literally live for two turns. <laughs> yeah. to die to your power. Well, he's not going to be able <laughs> to I, live I was impressed turns. by how far you, you, you wrapped that out. Here. This is the job of a commentator. <laughs> we have to find everything. Look, he can still roll a taunt totem and have a chance yeah. in his mind, but there are yeah. those two boars out. Yeah, and then there's going to be the guy that go post and ready. He's still dead anyway, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Well, obviously that hex is going to pop out. Yeah. Oh, they're going. Well, GG. I see nine damage. Game one. I see nine. I think you have to roll totem there. That's, like, actually a misplay, yeah. even though it's, like, obvious he's dead anyways. Sure, yeah. <laughs> and oh, oh my God. Ball battle frog. Oh, please, please kill him. <gasps> is he going to battle frog? <laughs> oh, that's so BM. Good. <laughs> what, to just kill him right up? You don't even kill him with that frog, dude? I can't. Yeah, how would you not kill him with the frog? The frog is a beast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good guy, Raynad, going to take game one off yeah. the Tice with his Hunter deck. Yeah. And, uh, that was well done, especially considering well done. the draws there. Yeah. Of, I, th I think that, that Hunter's think Mark is probably the most crucial draw of the yes. game, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Without that, I think the game is way different. Yeah, Tice got off to a really quick start with that Unbound Elemental and the two Ferals. Had a 5-7 Unbound Elemental there and in total board control, and then Raynad just turned it around with that one hunter, Hunter's Mark play yeah. with the mm -hmm. Unleash there. Yeah, Tice had almost every single card you need in that matchup, and yeah. he still just got crushed by I know. Hunter. It's a strong Hunter deck. He was saying that that deck had a huge winning record against everything but Miracle. Yeah. Waste of Snapshot, man. Totem, Totem, Totem Slayer. Totem Slayer. It's too powerful. That, uh, that thing's hard to kill. How do you deal that with was there at the end. As a Shaman, I mean, you have to hex that thing. He ended up dealing <laughs> sad. eight damage to that. I want to throw that out there. Yeah. He ended up dealing eight damage, and the card killed him. Yeah. That's like <laughs> so Oasis Snapjaw gaining mass value in this tournament. That's yeah. crazy. All right, so does, does Tice have a Miracle Rogue today? Uh, he's not playing rogue. Okay, so he's gonna have to throw out the shaman here. Yeah, he was. I he's mean, playing the a druid warlock here. as well. Here. But yeah, here's the here's the druid deck. Oh, look at that draw! Wow, right. from both of them actually. All right, so obviously the innervate quite nice. Yeah, keeper of the grove can be good, except that against Oasis Snapjaw, so probably gonna throw that back. You know what? I actually think it's exactly what he's thinking about too. Yeah, it does nothing against Oasis Snapjaw. Yep, it's like silly. Oh, got druid the claw. Not the best hand. Uh, from Swipe. Tice, I would say. Swipe wants some action, though. He's right, like you said, you mulligan a card, mm. it's right on top. What do you think about the choice of this Druid deck, uh, Kit Kat's looking at the cards uh, there, and is this, is this a favorable matchup for, uh, is this the right thing to do? I mean, historically, Sunshine Hunter has always done really well against Druid. It's been one of the best matchups. Mm. Well, uh, Sorry. taking a look at it, for Taunts, so I always like to look at taunts when you're playing against Hunter. Even if it's a Sunshine Hunter, I think it's important to look at. And he's got the Druid of the Claws, but it looks like that's it. Yeah, Druid's sort of uh, taking that aggressive edge again. Mm. Um, it, it, it's no mystery it's been having success. Beating people up is a good way to, to actually win the game. <laughs> <laughs> I've been really impressed with Druid this, this whole tournament, man. Everyone's been crushing with it. I'm yeah. really, really uh, intrigued by the, the double combo. And that's like a really European style. You, you've always seen the, the double combo for like at least the last two months yeah. coming out of Europe. But in North America, we just run double um, double, force. double force and only one uh, one yeah. roar because yeah. of Strife Crow, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah this, so. is, this is a really tough spot, by the way. Does he want to save this <laughs> Innervate, or does he want to Innervate Charge, or does he want to Innervate Taunt? Like, what do you do no, here? No, he, he wants to actually do exactly this, I think. The okay. Hero Power Pass, play your 2-4 and let him eat the trap, and then go ahead and okay. just save the Innervate for later on. It's If you Innervate and it gets Freezing Trapped, you're so, it's yeah. the worst thing that could ever happen. Absolutely. So, bow pass. I'm actually, I'm, I'm a little surprised by that. Huh. Oh, what a good draw. I guess he's saving it just to play removal with, right? That's what it feels like. like you can't really waste the keeper in this matchup because, like, of the, the high main threat. It's like, it's so huge if you don't have the, a way to silence that. Hmm. And so I'm really glad that he drew this, this Harvest Golem. I think that's what he's going to go with this turn. Do you know what? That's why you save the bow. He wants to kill whatever comes out because oh. he knows that on turn three, you're still sitting there playing nothing, that you're going to play a crappy minion to eat his trap. But he's going to kill this, make you play a better minion, and then the trap is oh, going to kill it. that's great analysis. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, he has the boar, so he can easily kill off this Harvest Golem, and I think it's completely worth it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Probably just throw down a hero power with that, I would imagine. Yeah, I don't see doing anything else. Yep. This is a really good play by Raynad. Absolutely. That was really good foresight. Tice has to be a little bit frustrated right now. But you know what? He's still at 30 health. He's at 5 mana. He's got a pretty strong hand, considering there hasn't been a lot of pressure early game. But Raynad's going for the long game anyways. Yeah, freezing traps for Druid are so strong. And like, mm. I don't know. I don't know why you'd pick Druid in this matchup. Maybe he understands it better than I do. I'm not, I'm not sure, though. Do you play the Blood Mage here? <laughs> 
He just used the boar. How does he get rid of a blood bank right now? Tough. It is tough to say. You might be able to trigger you know what, the trap. You know what? I, th I think you played the Drew of the Claw and Taunt, and I think you innervate out the, the uh, Blood Mage. I mean, you know what's coming out next turn for Mana. That's so. not bad. Yeah. Unleash? <laughs> is it? Oh, I don't know. He's got a Savannah High Mage. He's got Savannah High Mage. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, damn, man. For one? I'm like, yeah, he's, he's going to. Well, if he innervated <laughs> out the, the Thalnos, I guess he gets two, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> then he Hunter's Marks and clears the board. Bam. <laughs> <done>. Got him. <laughs> Yeah, I think he should innervate out the Druid and Taunt as well. Uh, of course, you play the Blood Mage first, just in case it is yep. Snipe. Well, I guess it wouldn't be Snipe, right? Because the Golem didn't get Yeah, hit, I, think so this is, I think this is a little greedy, honestly. It really is. That is yeah. greedy. Like, what, not having any board presence for the Svan High main turn is like, it's just game over, basically, from mm -hmm. that point. He knows, by the way, it's Freezing Trap now. He's tested everything except for Snake Trap, obviously. Whoa, whoa. I am very confused by that. This is painful. Oh, you know what? He still wants to keep his freezing trap. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense. This, this is like really good play again. I keep forgetting it's freezing trap. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just, I just ignore secrets. <laughs> well. I'm like, that guy just discarded a card. <laughs> Hero power it. Hero power it. Hero power the... No, no. The no, croc? No, no, normally versus... Versus uh, Hunter, you know, they always have the, the explosive or the misdirection. You're just always oh, yeah, hero yeah. powering to clear the card for... for yeah. You know what? Now that you know it's Freezing Trap, I think you just use one of these Force Natures. I really do. Really? Yeah. I guess, you know, you you get back one of the tokens. It's going to cost a lot. Like, yeah. They cost one normally, right? The Wrath is okay, but actually, I you have two Force Nature, man. I completely agree with you. Yeah. I think that he should use that because he clears the croc and the, yeah. the trap. You, you get That's to keep, great. You get to keep your Wrath, too. I think keeping the Wrath is really important. Wow. Because, like, the Yeti isn't the best thing to get with the Freezing Trap, but yeah. it's not bad. You know what? He can force next turn, too, though. Oh, gosh. Okay, things just got real. Yeah. Um, this, is a, this is a pretty tough turn. Gosh, this is rough. You know what? You know what's actually not that bad right now? Is Force of Nature. Mm. Token, token uh, absorbs a charge. You... Use the Yeti and a Hero Power to clear the High Main, and then use the last two tokens to clear the two tokens it makes. Okay, and that, I mean, that'll take your life down a little bit. It doesn't really matter right now, uh, but that does give him another charge as well. That's like nine more damage. Yeah. That's kind of tough. Um, I think you can Druid and Taunt also. What about leaving your Yeti up uh, by triggering with the token? And then clearing the high main with token, token, hero power, and then killing one of the two twos. Ooh. Is that reasonable? I think it's reasonable I think as that's, well. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good plan. Yeah, that looks like what he's going to go with. Yeah. He sh I really think he should have oh used his last turn, though. He's this got card. a hurry. He's got a hurry. Oh my gosh, the rope. Yeah, he does it. The Whoa. miracle rope is Whoa. counting Whoa. down. Secrets oh my take god. A oh. oh my god, Ooh. indeed. Oh, he's got to go. Tice, do it. Come on. Is it even going to blow up? This was... Oh, he made it. Wow. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, uh, he leaves the one two, 2 out, but decides his life is more important than the Yeti right now. Yeah. Which I guess is fine. You know, he'd have that other charge. He could have easily cleared it this anyways. This Stranglethorn Tiger is about to do some work, by the way. This yes, is indeed. Tough. Stranglethorn, uh, hero power, pretty strong play. Raynad has got some serious damage. In the next Hunt couple of turns. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's playing the deck extremely well, too. I wow. think, like, every choice he's made has been basically perfect. All right, so Kodo, Kodo's obviously coming down here, I think. And I think you innervate out in taunt mode this Druid of the Claw. I think it's time. you got to get this Druid of the Claw mm -hmm. down. You, can't, you cannot take five damage right now, I don't think. I agree with you here. Like if you can, That's, if it's you, like perfect on man and everything. Right. If, really you, if you stabilize at this point, too, you have a very good chance to win going forward because yeah. now you have your combo. So. Yeah, and I mean, he's still at 25 health. Yeah. His hand is actually still pretty strong even after using those yeah. those three cards. That's, that's the thing is he, ha he has his combo now, so yeah. he doesn't have to just stabilize. He can actually start initiating a race. Yeah. So honestly, you could actually even probably charge this Drew to the Claw. Do you think charge? I, I feel like I would play it in taunt. Well, if you force your opponent to start playing on the defensive... Like I don't think Raynad's going to go defensive. That, well, that's great for him. He's got the combo in his hand. He, he can initiate Oh, uh, yeah, that is true. That's I don't know point. why he's doing this instead of the Kodo. This doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, this is a perfect Kodo target. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I, I would much rather play that later. Because you might actually want to like silence a Savannah Hyman yeah, or something. I don't, see, I don't see the logic behind not playing the Kodo mm. here. 
Yeah, I don't like it so much. Especially because that would have been even more mana efficient than this. Did he just forget he has a Kodo? No, he, he hovered over it for a second. He just floated a mana. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the Kodo's a 3-5 compared to a 2-4 with less all. utility. Definitely that was a mistake, I think. There's like no way that wasn't. Right? I, I can't come up with a reason. I, I, I don't see Because you can even respond with Keeper on the... The yeah, no, the, the Keeper just is, is much more flexible for later so on. I am so confused. I think that was just a misplay there by Tice, which is weird. We see the pressure getting these guys because yeah. Tice is a, a better player than a couple moves, I think, that he's made this game. Yeah. Do you agree, Kikats? I absolutely agree. He's an yeah. incredible player. I've really been so impressed with him. Mm. Okay, so Raynet, Raynet now, he's, this four damage to the face has got to start sending some alarm bells. Yeah. yeah. Does he kill this 4-4 four -four or this 2-4 with this Strangle Throne Tiger? Does he use Kill Command? That's a good question. Uh, he has the coin still. He can Savannah high main kill command. I that's think that's I pretty good. And then he's got like a lot of damage on board. Yeah. But he's got to be careful too because with that combo that's able to go next turn, if he doesn't kill the 4 4, he's dead. Um, right? Because. Uh, 18, 20. Six. No, he's one damage short. Oh, okay. Yeah. As long as he kills one of them, he's fine. Yeah. Though. Wait, yeah, yeah, because he used the innervate. Okay. Yeah. So. Just has uh, to kill But him. now the, the other side of the miracle rope, <laughs> those Hearthstone mechanics. Yep. All right. Uh-oh. Oh. Renette always Okay, he's just going to clear. Yeah, this is, this is really the best play. I, I still don't understand. Mm. The co I think not Kodoing here might actually lose in the game. That was such a strange play. I'm, I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah if he had Kodoed, then if that Strangle Thorn kills the 3-5, then suddenly the, <gasps> he comes oh out with Oh, my him. gosh. Oh that my draw God. might win him the game. It really could. I think you charge him for yeah, four, right. and then you swipe him. Wow. That's so much damage. <laughs> and of course, uh, you know, there's there's only two taunts in the entire deck yeah. for Raynad. So he well, has to draw a Houndmaster. Two right? and two thirds taunts because two of the Mishas. <laughs> oh, yes. <Yeah. laughs> you are right, actually. And, uh, That's just math. <laughs> and don't forget, actually, uh, he has one more Freezing Trap. Yeah. So a Freezing Trap actually saves him a turn as well. True. So actually, he still has some reasonable cards he can draw here. Gosh. The thing is, he has plenty of cards that he can draw that can draw him cards. 11, 14. And he has a flare in hand. So you know, actually, Raynette, Raynette I bet got, you he can live one more turn. Raynad's got 16 damage, by the way. Wow. <laughs> 3, 5, 10, 16. Yeah. How, worried about you are, how worried are you about your own health in this spot? If, well, you're, if you're Tice. I don't well, think you can. You count up the 16, and he already used one kill command. I guess Oh, you, he sees it. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, this... Is the turn if Rain rowdy. Raynad needs to do something right now? Let's or see what this he draws. Gonna end. This is he. he <gasps> there it is. Oh, oh what my a draw! Gosh. Wow, what a draw! So good. And look at Raynad. He's mind gaming, and he looks so frustrated. Oh my god. This is. Oh man. This is crazy. So you give the plus two. You give it to Savannah Hyman. Do you clear this 4-4? Yeah, I, think I, I think you do. I think you have to clear it. But do you clear it with something like the Unleash, or do you use just the Stranglethorn? I would use the Unleash. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like a good play. All right. This is crazy, man. Who's winning this game, Kit Kats? <laughs> oh, I think we know who's winning this game. <laughs> <laughs> that oh is a lot of damage. my gosh. Four, uh, four health, health, health. left. Yep. I don't think there are any cards in Tice's deck that can win I this game. I don't think so. I cannot come up with one. There were just so many turns that he was so greedy with his innervates and like establishing a threat on the board. Yeah. So that he just played from behind the entire game. You know what I think yeah. a greedier spot was is when he used that keeper instead of using that, that Kodo. I think that that wasn't even greedy. I think that I, was just a mistake. Yeah. I, like there's no there's no nothing greedy about doing that, right? The better play is yeah, just you're, the you're other right, one. You're right. Yeah. yeah. The adjective greedy doesn't fit here. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Wrong. It's been a long weekend. Yeah, it certainly yeah. has. Sometimes you just agree with people and shake your head uh. and, and fill in dead air. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh. All right, bud. Sudoku. Well played. Well played. GG to wow. Raynad. He takes it 2-0 over Tice. Uh, man, that Hunter deck.